Hey, it's me, the Rhino, Survival Skills 101, talking to you today about wasp and hornet spray. Is it a good self-defense tool, or should you leave it alone? Well, let me explain. All right, before we start, I want to talk about my qualifications as to why I'm going to talk about wasp and hornet spray killer as a self-defense tool. You know, I am a trainer at my local police academy, and I'm a former cop. Now, most of you know that the Rhino is a self-defense instructor and martial arts instructor. If you haven't figured that out by watching my videos, maybe you need to watch a few more of my videos. I'm also a firearms instructor, so I know a lot about self-defense because it's my job. And I also know a lot about the law pertaining to self-defense. So, I want to set the record straight right now. Is wasp and hornet spray a good self-defense tool for you to use against an attacker? And I want to say absolutely, positively, maybe. All right, now here's why. I believe it's only good in certain circumstances. Now, what are those? Certain circumstances being inside your home, if you had some wasp and hornet spray killer inside your home and you used it, and someone's breaking in to kill you, to rob you and whatever, and you use that, I think legally you would be justified in being able to use this. Why? Because you could use this around your house, and you can make the case that I have wasp and hornet spray killer around my house all the time because of wasp and hornets. All right, so you could get away with uh, using this on somebody because it just happens to be handy. All right, so legally I think you have yourself covered. And it really depends on what country you're living in. So check with the laws of your state, country, county, whatever. All right? Now, I need you to understand this. If you get sprayed in the eyes with wasp and hornet spray killer, it's a very dangerous chemical. It could make you go blind. All right? So you hit somebody in the eyes with this, they have the potential of going blind. Uh, and if, if you're in the wrong somehow, you could be sued for a great uh, amount of money. All right? So let's not take this for granted that oh they'll be okay because they might not be okay if you've ever seen a wasp get hit with this they immediately all of the moisture in their body gets sucked out they shrivel up boom and they die instantly well, what do you think this is going to do to your eyeballs you bet it's going to hurt like hell all right now I would not recommend that you take this outside your house for self-defense, meaning I wouldn't put this in your car if I were you. Driving around with wasp and hornet spray killer in your car is a very bad idea. Most cops know that people can use wasp and hornet spray killer as a self-defense tool. All right? Well, why is it in your car? Well, you're going, oh, well, I could use it to kill wasps. You know what? that's a little bit harder to prove, okay? And what the prosecuting attorney will do in a case is say you planned to use wasp and hornet spray killer to disfigure an attacker. And the lawsuits can keep going up from there. And I've seen cases like this all the time. So keep wasp and hornet spray killer out of your car, out of your purse, leave it in your house. In a um, stuff hits the fan scenario, zombie apocalypse, I highly urge you to have a bunch of cans because if you are trying to protect your castle from complete social breakdown and chaos, I'm going to tell you this, giving these to the kids to use uh, and to other people uh, and having them around when people are trying to get in through windows, etc., uh, you cannot go wrong with this. If you're living in a country that doesn't allow firearms, doesn't allow pepper spray, I mean Canada has very restrictive firearms uh, laws, you can't have pepper spray, tasers, anything like that. Um, England, uh, very uh, strict firearms laws. And uh, Australia, Europe, pepper spray, or uh, I'm sorry, wasp and hornet spray can make a very uh, good self-defense tool. So in your house, yes. Out on the street, I would say no. All right, I hope that sheds some light on wasp and hornet spray for self-defense. You know, I made a mistake. This isn't a burglar. It's my mother-in-law. Sorry about that. Hey, if you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel. Give us a like. Share us with your friends. For Survival Skills 101, I'm the Rhino. This is my mother-in-law. Are you prepared to look forward?